Konnichiwa, minasan. It's a big day today. You get to start your Seisan Kata Bunkai. Uh, you already know the Kata, so I'm not going to worry about teaching it to you, but I want to show you um, in small segments how to use these um, uh, movements in your Kata. All right, so the, if I could borrow my partner here, and what we're going to do, the movements we're going to look at, and sorry, sir, to have you just standing here, but what we're going to do uh, is we're going to look at the beginning, all right, you know your bow, and we're going to look at this part. I should say look at, we're going to study. All right, that's the section we're looking at. All right, sir, if I could borrow you. As you already know, when your opponent is striking and if we're in line here, he's gonna clobber me. So as you know, sir, if we can get you here, we've got to move off angle to use our technique in our kata. And then after that, we have our punch to the solar plexus, correct? So, sir, if I can get you maybe off angle, we're gonna move uh, like so, it's fine. And if you'll swing your punch, so we're going to block, punch. As the opponent steps back from this punch, we're going to follow him in and punch again. And as I follow in, I'm going to punch him again into the solar plexus. All right. Let's do that off angle so our friends can see at home. As he swings, punch, punch, punch. You notice we're doing that with power with our solar plexus. Then after that third punch, we have a maneuver that looks like this. All right, let's look at that. After the third punch, our opponent is softened up. But we're going to have him swing again. In our double block, we're not actually blocking. This arm here is a strike, and we're going to cause pain to that striking arm. The other forearm that's coming up is going to go into the artery, into the side of the neck, like so. And if you notice, the kata says to open and then drive down. Well, when we come down, we're going to take the opponent's hand with us. And as we drive down, we're going to strike into the opponent's artery. So it would look like so. Now, let's look at the whole thing together. The opponent, uh, let's go on this side here, sir, if you would. The opponent swings, punch, punch, punch. He swings and in. The next part of our kata, though, is to turn. And after we turn, we bring our hands back up again. It's very important that your left hand is on the outside of your right. And here's why. If I could bar sir again. So after we've done our after we've done our block, control, and strike to the artery, then the kata says to come on up and look. Now if you watch what we do with our legs, sir, if I'm sorry if I bother you again, uh, we can get to the side again. Uh, if you watch what our leg does, see what my leg did? I'm going to go here so folks can see. See what our leg did here? It's very important. And then watch what happens, please. As he swings up, striking, striking. We're going to come under, and you want, I want you to strike this artery hard with your right hand. And then that leg I told you to watch for, you're going to look and you're going to trap that leg. And I'm going to go uh, easy on my partner because I don't want to twist him up. But that's actually what we want to do with our opponent. We're going to twist up that leg and knee. And then, if you remember I said keep the left hand on the outside. We're going to place and squeeze. And hopefully my partner will tap. There he is, and he's tapping. So if we could see that whole thing, block, punch, 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 uh, here, under, and around, and squeeze. Excellent. Now, we got more, more uh, fun stuff to show you. If you notice in the beginning of this kata, 
we move our hands and your fist around like this. All right. Well, we want to focus on this coming up, but let's focus on this hand that's going around. So if my partner comes in, what I like about this technique is that normally we're working with grabs, but in this case, it can work with a jab or even a punch. But we're going to go slow if it's a punch, and we're going to, I want you to ask you to come around and strike with these knuckles here. Okay, not the punching knuckles, but these knuckles here onto the tender part of the outside of their punch. Right, I don't want to do it too much because it hurts. So as he's coming in, keeping your elbow in tight, strike, control, punch. Go and continue with the whole motion. As the opponent comes in, the kata says to come around and strike. Come up and control, punch 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 we're going to control here grip under and yes now let's show one other motion we're going to start the same way he comes in break control punch 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 but if you learn if you remember we go under and up just like before but watch how we use this now when we go under, you're going to grab the opponent's right arm and you're going to pass it to your right arm. And then, sir, if we can get closer for the camera so they can see, the kata says to shuffle forward and I want you to shove your partner's and punch your, your opponent's arm around their neck. And then you're going to grab with your opposite hand. It looks confusing, but it's not. You already know it. Watch. He's coming up, and there's where you manipulate the arm. So if he's here, punch. We're going to push up through, and then the open hand, so if we can get you to turn here, the open hand is going to spear through this hole. All right, so here we are in our kata. Causing the lock. Then the kata says to turn and up. And I'll show you this lock here. All right, let's get a wide range, uh, Mr. Finn, to show them. So we'll get to here for you. We'll go real slow if you don't mind. So your left comes in, break, control, punch, punch. Let's try to stay in the camera. Punch, uh -huh. up, under and around that was your first option first first uh, technique the second is break control punch 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 control this arm bring it up like i showed you spear hand through and the reason why i'm way back here is so that you can see how you're going to use that stance to sweep the opponent's leg and hopefully tap all right if i could show that mr finn to the to our students up close one last time we're going to go right opponent's right hand pass to your right hand punch through and use your body to keep them from moving come around and grab and then we can turn to here under the elbow shoot through and lock okay thank you so much sir and now without my partner i want you to try to visualize what's happening you see now in our kata you block punch 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 up and you see now what you can be doing with your opponent's arms grabbing the wrist artery you see how you can be going around and locking them out with their arm around here. And then the kata says to do what? After you're down, look, and then take your opponent around using that back leg to sweep your opponent's and, and uh, leg out from under them and to twist their knee. All right, guys and girls and ladies and boys and whoever's out in training in Ishinu Karate, that's our section, uh, that first section, the bunkai for Se Sankata. There is more to it. There is more to that section. And your job is to study. 
but I've gotten you a pretty good head start on that. Please practice and be safe with your partner when you're practicing these things. Thank you so much, and we'll see you in the next video. Domo arigatou gozaimashita.